Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Hello, welcome to Art Starts Explores. My name is Payson. I'm the public program assistant at Art Starts in Schools. This month, we will explore the theme, contrast. What is contrast? Contrast can be simply defined as difference. For example, difference in color. Here, as you can see, we have pink and green. Or, yes, we have black and white. Or, um, it can be difference in size. We have a small paper and a bigger one. See, this is a contrast. Okay, so today we will explore texture in contrast. So let's get started. In terms of the materials, we need paper, tissue wrap, used magazines, scissors, glue stick, and markers. And I've set up my workstation and I've got all the materials I have here. So let's begin. How can I explore texture in contrast? Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab the used magazines. Let's think together. Okay, I'm gonna rip this page. Okay, and the surface of this page is very smooth, right? So yeah, I can just do this. Now I'm gonna open it. See, it becomes rough and messy. It's not smooth anymore. So what can I do? Okay. Now I create a texture. And but see I have this upper part in contrast with the lower part. This part is very, you know, rough. And this part is actually 
it's still um, smooth. Okay, turn around. Oh, I love this side better because I got orange and blue. They are a contrast as well, but it's in color. Okay. Um, okay, let me do this. What this can be? Grab a paper, put on top of it. For me now, this can be a dress. Okay. So, okay, before I do that, I'm gonna stick this on this paper. See, this can be a huge dress. Okay. Okay, so this is one example. Uh, now I want to create a full image using different textures okay in terms of the second activity i'm gonna use more papers with different textures as i said the tissue wrap magazine and papers colored ones and a white paper yeah so let's do it
I got a t-shirt, one dress, one skirt. Uh, what else can I add? Let me think. Hmm. Now I'm going to use the tissue wrap. Maybe this too I can use the magazine. See there's an X, so I can just use it. creating the, the last outfit. Hmm. Okay. I think I can use this.
now I got four different outfits and with different textures. For example, uh, the rough surface of tissue wrap, right? Here and here. And then we got the color papers and then one without lines, one with lines on it. And then we also got um, the texture of magazines. See, it's a different type of paper here and here. Okay, um, now I'm gonna doodle. Okay, I'm just adding more details to it. Um, I have a pocket here, I can add a pocket here. Okay, I actually want to um, draw more things on this page because it's still quite empty. Um, okay. Um, yeah, maybe I can imagine them as four different puppets with different characters. Yeah, so let's do it. Uh, okay, this one I add the shoes first. Big shoes. Mm. Okay, how about this one? Small shoe. High heel, but you cannot see the heels. Okay, cute. Um, this one, what should I do with it? Okay. Maybe this one you can. Slippers facing that way. Okay. 
and then final. Looks very happy, looks like dancing. What kind of shoes I can add? Upper body, oh, just at very big hat. They are puppets, so maybe this one can have a square face. Um, and this one has a triangle. What else? Triangle, rectangle, circle. Okay, let's do a circle again. But okay, four puppets. Okay, mm. now adding hair. <laughs> And then this one long hair. This one maybe is more like a wake up. The joint of the puppets. Play with me. Okay. Wake up. I can add a and then this one. 
joint of the puppet. Okay, so that's for today. I created four puppets with different characters. And then if you remember at the beginning of this session, I also create a huge dress. Um, and I'm quite satisfied because I feel, wow. First, I create a fashion show. Second, I create a puppet show. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, now I'm gonna clean. You can clean your table with me as well. Thank you for coming.